Hello again, this is uh, Turbulence 11 aka Sean and uh, recording another session for Turbulentus Poker. Uh, changing it up a bit today, we are playing some uh, 10 and L standard tables and it's Christmas week. It's the uh, 22nd of December 20, lockdown Christmas in the UK. Um, which is good because uh, we've got a lot more fun players uh, online this week so uh, we should get some interesting spots obviously all the usual regs are around um, but uh, yeah definitely certainly in the evenings there's been um, a lot more random players uh, playing with us so um, we have four tables up and running and uh, let's see how we get on for the next half an hour so like I said uh, playing 10 and L standard tables not fast forward today um, let's see what happens I'm gonna switch back to uh, my favorite big blind mode Uh, let's uh, get some action. Literally just started, so you haven't missed any action yet. Looking around the tables, we seem to be quite fortunate. Um, not too many tough regs at these tables. Uh, even though we're getting a really good price, I think it's just a bit too uh, marginal. Let it go. Obviously, the uh, action's a bit slower on standard tables, but uh, if you're an old fart like me, that's uh, not such a bad thing. Gives yourself a bit of time to think about your hands and your spots and uh, your ranges, etc. And we're going to see a lot of this, people limping the button and limping under the gun. Uh, just giving the basic green tag to start with. I'm not going to try and do anything fancy or tricky or whatever against these kind of players. Just let them make all the mistakes, just try and play solid against them. probably face a six big blind bet on the river or something. So, got a folding so far. I've been told quite a lot that this is a very unprofitable strategy doing any kind of limping in a small blind. However, that is the strategy that um, I've learned over the last 100,000 hands. So uh, whilst I do need to look at it and revise it for these low stakes, um, I haven't done that yet. So I am still limping a portion of the small blinds. I've got a mixed limping and raising strategy. So. Um, Uh, we can three bet this or we can take a flop. Um, let's see, this guy is a bit of a rig. And choose the three bet. Not quite strong enough to isolate versus limp. Because uh, we haven't seen what kind of hands is limping yet, whether he's just limping any two cards to try and catch a flop or whether he's actually limping strong hands um, I'm going to raise fold the uh, king seven let's 
start with a small sea bear. He's got a lot of random AX in his range, trashy AX. Uh, a lot of people just follow the first bet as well. Not a great run out. Could turn my hand into a bluff, but I don't see the point in that. Let's try and get a cheap showdown. Definitely opening up the suited ace. Holding the king four to a three and a half X. It's another thing that um, you have to consider um, at these stakes. If I knew he was opening, you know, way too wide from this position, I could use this as a three bet and even a. But uh, I'm just going to let it go for now. I'm definitely going to three bet him this time. He seems to be just opening everything for three and a half x. And getting squeezed. I think this guy's a reg. Um, going to turn this into a bluff. Fold if he jams. And I'm just going to pile this in. And that's typical. Been running hot the last few sessions uh, on these tables, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised today now if I'm recording a session and uh, we have a lot of things go against us. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I'm just going to defend the sevens. Uh, I like just a little block bet here. Uh, I'm going to raise this up against this guy. He's just been limping 100% of hands since we've been sat down. Um, and we start a little C bet. Take it down. He's just here for some fun, wants to see some flops, try and suck out on people but I don't think he's going to do anything particularly crazy yeah it looks like I got particularly unlucky against uh, what's that the fling 10 he seems to be in every pot as well Giants versus an unknown and that four bet sizing, I probably should have just folded my ace king off suit. But uh, the last few days I've seen people really, really overvaluing hands like ace jack off suit and uh, stacking off with them and pocket sixes and all sorts of uh, stuff that uh, I don't mind bluff four bet with ace jack, but uh, actually stacking off with it. Um, especially the unsuited variety is pretty bad. I 
I'm gonna give uh, Poppers a yellow tank, it just means a reg that I've seen quite a few times. I haven't made any notes on him, so he obviously hasn't done anything outstanding, and by that I mean he hasn't done anything that makes me think uh, good or bad of him. Maybe we should have defended that with this guy that was definitely coming along. I might just take a stab at this, actually. Otherwise, it's going to be checking down to the river and then letting him have a stab at it. I'm going to raise against alchemy. That's a pretty favourable flop. Just going to do a tiny C there. Hopefully, he's got an ace. Hopefully he doesn't have the king of diamonds. I think I'll still keep betting for value though. And we'll probably only get him raised on the river by the king. And I'm going to fall back this one. should have been an open. Sorry, I was looking off screen at something else. Getting donked into. Always difficult to range these. Could be top pair, could be a flush draw, could be a straight draw, could be absolutely nothing at all. But with a weak top pair, I think we're just going to call. Well, that's good, he hasn't got enough flush at least. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a flush. He could actually have ace jack as well. I'm going to call again. And I don't think we're going to do anything funky here. I think we're just going to show the hand down and probably lose to King Jack. Basically. Could have turned the turn into. Uh, the ten of spades on the hands could have turned that into a bluff, but um, I don't think. Well, I don't think we're we'll getting a fold here any time soon. This looks pretty weak, but um, we've got no playability on this board. Debating whether I want to go with this, not really getting the implied odds. There we go. So, COVID Christmas. 
bit of a bummer for everybody. So they're relaxing the rules, they've got stricter, which uh, probably the right thing to do. Uh, with the nut blocker, I'm actually going to overbet this turn. I've got all the two pairs, all the sets. And obviously uh, several versions of the straight as well. Uh, our funky boy is left, it's a bit of a shame. Not getting any hands that we can really isolate this guy with, but uh, patience, 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 patience. take a little start of this to be honest yeah he was ready to fold brief lot and three about this or oh, we can fold calling's not really the right play Interesting flop. We've both got nines in our range. And I could raise some draws. It's going to strengthen my check back range, just checking back this hand. Um, we don't get any lead outs. I would expect a flush draw to lead out, jack 10 to lead out. So I'm going to start betting for value. 5x open from uh, a fun player. This guy just wants to see air every flop. Had a bit of a marathon session yesterday, that was good fun. Um, ooh. This is a weird spot. Hopefully Poppers doesn't come back over the top. Uh, I'm just going to set mine this. this. This is a very weird spot. Um, because this guy's in, okay, he hasn't got a huge stack, but uh, there's a lot in the middle. Uh, maybe four betting that might have been better to isolate this guy. Um, I am gonna bet at this. I think he would have shot the jack. He'd have bet in the over pair. Not too happy about the river, but uh, definitely squeezing this one here. And can I block that? Maybe he flopped the jacks. 
or just didn't want to fold ace queen to one bet. Who knows? Um, we're going to take a flop here and okay, this is weird. I'm going to bet small again. I'm going to ISO this time and check call once up there. Three betting the queens. Holding the nine deuce. Loving life today. Not much I can do about that. Oh, I'm going to over called. Uh, I'm going to bet for value here, I think. Check. And put this guy away in. Check again. And squeeze. And check raise this board. You might have ace queen here. Alright, I didn't get a chance to check raise that board. Queen, yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to raise this because I've got the open ender. And I'm going to bet this board. I'm check that flop. either a set or a flush draw. Either way, we have to fold. Oh, we're certainly getting some uh, of the usual weird, wonderful and very fucking strange situations. I'm feeling this is Ace King. Well, like I said, we're doing well today. Um, I'll check raise this one. Ah, we've got a lot of very all-in happy people today. Just like, I'm all in! I'm all in! Everybody's all in! <coughs> Can't wait to get their chips in. 
Uh, I'm going to check this back. Try and induce some action. And river the nuts. He's probably going to slow him down now. Unless he's got exactly ace four, which would be nice. Um, uh, let's just try and get something out of a jack. Ups and downs of low stakes poker at Christmas time. Taking up harmony. Uh, hopefully, in the next 15 minutes of this recording, we can uh, maybe win a hand or two, or at least win some of the bigger pots. Uh, I am actually going to two barrel this guy, although he didn't actually hesitate to call that bet. I'm going to give up now because he's not going to fold the pair. It was more like a case he had a gut shot or uh, something of that nature. I set mine on the button, I'm going to raise this one up and I'm going to isolate the limper. Uh, we're getting some big flops. The trouble is with these sort of balls, you just can't get much action. That's the sort of thing you need in in the multi way. Uh, get a lot of multi way action on these uh, static tables. Um, people over calling three bets and stuff, so you end up two, uh, you know, three or four ways to the flop. That's when you want to hit those hands because there's always somebody who wants to chase the uh, the seven high flush draw to the river. is cut off, I think we can defend this. I'll just say if he bets we're going to check raise. I suspect he's only betting strong hands actually but I'm going to check raise it anyway. We've got top pair, good kick up. It's got snack called, like snack called, no hesitation. Uh, that says to me he's got an over pair or he had a flush draw, possibly jack 10. I'm going to bet fold. Because if he's got pocket aces, he hates that turn card. Unless he's got the ace of clubs, of course. To be honest, I probably should have just checked, given up the speed with which he called the re-raise, it's nearly always a flush draw. 
But like, there's no thinking about it. It was just like, I've got a draw on calling. And the size of his C bet was almost like, don't bother raising me on this block. Uh, I'm going to figure that. Pretty decent flop, but it is vulnerable. Spain over to uh, bet or check raise. Theoretically, I think that board's better for his range than mine. Uh, it's going to have middle pocket pairs, um, some suited aces, uh, suited broadways. Um, and possibly even hands as strong as Jackson to Jackson Queens. So I like the uh, the check raise there. As soon as you check, it's pretty on ace king, and uh, want to blast you off it. But the hand's too vulnerable not to check raise. It's not like we flop to set of tens, and we can um, slow play it a bit to induce some more action. Fold. I think on this occasion I'm going to call. Now I'm, I'm psychic. Now I said that I'll have pocket aces. But I almost know for a fact he doesn't have pocket aids. I'm just going to start with a call. So far this board is looking better for him than it is for me. So we're just going to call again. And just pray he's got ace king or ace queen and not aces kings or queens. Check is very weird. Check is very, very weird. I, mean, I think we have to shove for value, but in case he's got ace queen, that he's somehow decided that I might have ace king, I don't know. I don't know if he double barrels jacks there, that would be very weird. Been on a bluff three bet ace five or something like that. Uh, not ace five, um, ace four. Bit naughty. 
we'll see its own card. It's a bit disappointing. Definitely folding now. So this is Mr. I want to stack off right instantly on the flop. Apparently he's always got it in the big blinds. Now he shouldn't have been betting a six on the flop. It's better for me when I check. No. I'm just gonna. Got that one three. All right, hands up. That was a little bit of frustration tilt there. But if you're going to tilt, do it aggressively in a situation where it's believable. And we can call, yeah, I think we'll just call this best option here. And call this one. Good four bet this, it's marginal. This one back. Just so still got him to deal with. Not really check on the flop and then bet the turn quite big. Um, I think I have to fold regardless. To be honest. Surprise. Uh, I'm just going to start betting this hand. And I'm going to over bet. Rebedding. Alright, I'm going to uh, wrap this recording up fairly shortly, I'll give it a few more minutes. In fact, why don't we set out the next blinds. Um, bit marginal, but uh, We're hitting a lot of flushes. Uh, 
Oh jeez, how do we get paid on this? I've got the straight and the flush. I don't have the straight flush, but I've got the straight and the flush. Um, I'll let him bet. Nine, nine the way things are going today. Oh, five, nine. Wow. He didn't bet the straight. I should have bet. I should have bet. And we're just going to let this one go. And that one, so while we're waiting for the tables to finish up, let's see how we did in that session. Got a feeling we're down um, at least one and a half buy ins off that little, uh, off that little stint. So the leak uh, folding that one. So apparently, play four and oh no, that's in total today. Uh, I was playing. After 11 o'clock last night, which is a new day on Party Poker, because it's on Central European time. So I suspect we played maybe 250 hands. Uh, most of this loss is due to the hands on this table up here. So, not amaze balls. Um, yeah, what can you do? Running Ace King into. Aces uh, against an active player. Uh, although, to be honest, if I thought about it a little bit longer, I probably could have found the fold pre flop. Um, and did we need to take the flip against this guy? Uh, he pretty much signposted his hand. We've got a slight edge in terms of equities. So, yeah, I think it was worthwhile taking that. We just came out the wrong side of the flip. Uh, then we flopped a bunch of flushes, but unfortunately they were all in single raise pots against one opponent and no one really had anything they could pay us with. So yeah, won a bunch of small pots. It's, it's a shame because those, those are the pots you want when there's like, you know, both the blinds call and you've got three fish in the pot with a bit of something um, and you're going to get you're going to get nicely paid off, but uh, wasn't to be, that wasn't the situation. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, have a Merry Christmas and uh, enjoy the poker tables over the festive season. I'm sure that uh, plenty of presents will be dished out around the table. And have a great new year. Let's hope 2021 is a lot better than uh, 2020 has been in terms of the situation in the world. Until then, uh, have fun.